We've reached the grand finale of the prelims. The last two cars of the Moving On Club will come from this group of four drivers. Welcome back, race fans! They'll drive four laps, rotating each lap. Scoring is five points for first, three for second, two for third, one for last, and a DNF is a zero. You must cross the finish line for points. Driving my personal favorite muscle car, the 69 Charger, tournament veteran Brian Dykema. Introducing the first participant to sign up by way of my YouTube channel in that 61 lowrider Impala. Please welcome McKenna Ritz. Don't play poker with this guy. He represents Aces High Racing in the 70 Escort, the spy dude, Bill Pierce. And another returning champion of a prior tournament, creeping in that night shifter, Caleb Irvine. This final preliminary group has been patiently waiting and can wait no more. Let's race. Dykema and Ritz in the front row. Spy dude flips, he's out. Dykema leading Ritz out. And Irvine, a high pass, pulling away, extending his lead. But here comes Ritz and Irvine in a bare knuckle fight. Irvine on the outside. Can he take one early? No, Ritz holds him off. And Spy Dude flipped early, but his surveillance camera is fine. Dykema establishing himself as the car to beat. Ritz and Irvine not too far behind. Spy Dude needs to fix the shocks on that escort. Irvine and Dykema in the front row. Irvine taking charge, leading the others behind. Spidu's out again, and with no one else around, Irvine looks like he is doing an individual time trial. Straight down the middle, and Dykema and Ritz are somewhere in the back. And here they come, Dykema, and then there's Ritz. And Spy Dude again is out, this time at turn two. Irvine demonstrates the advantage of winning the lap. That extra point almost vacates that third place finish from lap one. There's no substitute for consistency, which is why Dykema's leading. The double E and F's by Spy Dude has the vultures circling. If that's a strategy, maybe he knows something that we don't. Irvine and Spy Dude in the front row. Dykema's out. Irvine 180's and Spy Dude is taken off. Didn't like my vulture statement and taking it out on the group. Sliding and poses at the finish line like it's a football game. Here's what Irvine thinks about it. Sportsmanship, gentlemen. There's pushing and shoving. Ritz gets in between them as the voice of reason. And they start to calm down as the judges come over and separates them. Say what you want about Spy Dude. He was literally in a win or go home situation and he came through. Irvine is solid with that second place finish. Ritz and Dykema are completely in the hunt. It's still anyone's game to win. Ritz and Spy Dude in the front row. Spy Dude taking it out early. Looks like he's going to try to make it a back-to-back -back win. Out of turn two, accelerating. Ritz can't keep up. Into turn three, still accelerating. And it's all Spy Dude and Ritz and Dykema and Irvine. Oh, baby, look at that. Honey, put your coat down. We're not leaving yet. Irvine's the winner. But we have a three-way tie for that last spot. So we have three cars. We'll have three laps. Highest score moves on. And it's Spy Dude. Two DNFs, then two victories. Elbows his way through the drivers. Hits the reset button and says, let's race. Ritz and Dykema in the front row. Ritz has the early lead, surging ahead. Battling with Dykema, takes the lead on the first turn, accelerating, swerving a bit. Here comes Dykema, coming back, bearing down on Ritz, can he get a pass, but no! Ritz holds him off, then Dykema, then Spy Dude. Congratulations to McKenna Ritz on her first victory. Nobody DNF'd, so everyone still has a chance. Spy Dude and Dykema in the front row. Spy Dude taking off early. Dykema swerving. Gets passed by Ritz. But Spy Dude takes off. He's all alone. Leaving everyone behind. It is Spy Dude on a turn three. Then Ritz. And then Dykema. Spy Dude and Ritz control their destiny. If either wins, they're in. Dykema needs to win. Plus some help from others. Three go in. But only one will come out. 
Spy Dude and Ritz in the front row. Spy Dude with an early lead. Dykema passes Ritz. Spy Dude accelerating. Dykema gets sideways, blocking Ritz and leaving Spy Dude with a breakaway all alone. It's what started with two DNFs and Vulture swirling, and the comeback is complete. Mission accomplished. Dismissed. And Spy Dude grinning like the kid who has the answers to tomorrow's exam completes the most unlikely comeback ever in the history of Slingshot 360 diecast racing. And as we welcome Bill Pierce, Spy Dude from Aces High Racing and Caleb Irvine to the Moving On Club, membership is now closed. Coming up next, we'll have four quarterfinal groups to see who from the Moving On Club will be moving on again. Keep following this tournament on YouTube or Facebook at Slingshot 360 Diecast Racing. Click like, subscribe, thank you for your support, and we'll see you soon.